Oh, no. 
the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen. two days earlier. This brutal killing took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. They believe that this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend, such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family.
girl was found shot once in the chest from point blank range. The mother, who was shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 911 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family.
arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month and in December last year. A man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. a drag. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me.
Dad was such a drag. Every day he'd eat the same kind of food, dress the same, sit in front of the same kind of games. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me.
Jeffrey, there's been another homicide. I need you on the station now. Gotcha. Good morning, Lou. Swamp! That's what we are. We're getting four murders like this per week now, and the government's cutting our budget. I'm telling you, Jeffrey, we can't do our job this way. Well, that's why I'm here. For you. Brams County can lend a cop or two for a neighboring town in need. So, what we're looking at? Henry Sullivan. Shot his family dead last night, then hung himself in the garage. Lisa Belinsky, his wife, shot in the stomach. And pregnant. Dear God! It's just getting worse. It's like the whole city is losing its mind. So what now? The husband had an acquaintance that's here and want to talk to us. He's upstairs. Let's go. What's your name, sir? Tom Sanders. How well did you know him? We go back a long time. I can assure you, officer, this is not like him at all. Did he seem different lately? He had been down for a while after losing his job, but that was nothing new. This just came so suddenly. Any possible motives? I can't think of any. Could you tell us about... It's strange, though. It's happening everywhere now, doesn't it? All over town. Yeah, it's a real headbuster, I'll give you that. But, uh... Maybe it shouldn't surprise us. Oh, yeah? Why's that? I have been looking around me lately. The mood is different. People seem so on edge. So many have ended up on the streets recently. Economy is going through tough times. Takes more than that to start a riot like this. There could be more to it than just that. I'm sorry, exactly how did you know Henry Sullivan again? Yeah? Those photos you requested, sir. Ah, yeah, the photos of the crime scene I asked for. They're in the photo lab. We better go take a look. We'll talk later, Tom. I can hear them calling to me from hell. Forgive me, Lisa, there's a monster inside of me. Oh boy. They always write those things. 
I sent more info on this guy to your email. You're living in that hotel? Yeah, I'm heading there now. I'll check out the info. All right, see you later. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. Hmm. Started drinking after losing his job. Wife had to work four jobs. Wait. There was a thing between the manager and her? Oh, I don't like where this is going. But why kill the children? Hmm. Two zero four eight six three. <sighs> this wasn't like you, was it, Henry? <laughs> oh, what is that? Hello? Hey, you okay? Sanders? It's me, Jeffrey Harper from the station. I heard crying next door. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <sighs> this is a strange room you're renting, Tom. I got it real cheap. You're not from town, are you? Where are you from? I'm not really in the mood to talk about those things right now. 
I understand. I've been studying this since I came here. The flower? It's so terrible what happened to Henry and his family. Yet so strange, too. It's got me thinking, how do we identify something as a flower? Suppose you plant a flower, and it grows, and you take a seed from it, and you put that seed in the ground, the flower grows, and becomes exactly identical to the original flower. Is that new flower the same flower? Why not? You see, it's not so simple. Suppose, suppose that the Henry Sullivan that murdered his family wasn't the same Henry Sullivan that you or I knew before. Are you sure the only you is you, officer? <laughs> You're a philosophy lecturer? I teach linguistics, actually. Where? Nearby. Okay. That reminds me of a few things. Have you ever heard of the flowers? Flowers? I have looked up on this town. It has a fascinating history. Apparently, the flowers was an ancient artifact connected to another world. Somehow, it eventually found its way to this town. A group of people took possession of it and used it for unknown purposes. This was apparently 80 years ago. Where are you going with all this? I guess I... I guess I'm just grasping at straws. Tom, you're tired. You've been through a lot. Go to bed. Yeah, I'll see you on the station tomorrow. That's enough work for today.
Yeah, what is it? It's this door. That symbol wasn't here before, sir. Could that really be? This door won't budge, sir. All right, Jim, get the battering ram. Sir, I think there's something on the other side of his door blocking it. Am I dreaming? Who are you? Who are you? I'm here. Look into the gap of the door. It's me. Henry. Henry Sullivan. I didn't do it. I didn't kill them. None of us did. I woke up two days ago. I walked down the hallway. And then... I saw me... walking in front of myself. But it wasn't really me. You have got to convince the others. You have got to save me. I don't want to be trapped here. Unbelievable. Power outage and fog all over. People seem pretty wild up. Ah, turn that off. Let's just hope we get there in one piece. Here we are. 
Let's head on inside. You know, it's funny. I had a dream about this place last night. Oh yeah? It was foggy. I stood by the window and you were talking with Jim and Charles about something. Huh. The strange thing was that it felt like there was someone else in the room. Watching us. Well, what do you know? Anyway, not much else happened. I woke up and felt exhausted for some reason. Looks like this guy was quite the boosa. Yeah, I... Sir? Yeah, what is it? It's this door. Jeffrey, come here. I suppose you don't recognize this symbol. Uh, no, I don't. What is it? I don't know what it is, but I know who's been using it. The other church. The other church? Cultists of some sort, operating here in Silent Hill many years ago. Why would they out themselves like this? I'll go and check what that was. What kind of language is that? It's Swedish, sir. You speak Swedish? I do, sir. Let's bring this back to the station. Our language expert got some translating to do. Close your eyes. Sit in a room. Let your ears listen to me. Can you hear my voice? How do you rest? Can you hear your own soul scream? Let us choose. My voice is the same to you, sir. Or your tortured mind. Now, what do you choose? You can't choose. Your life. Your future. Why is it so hard? Yes. The radio drama of 81 years ago was true. They are here on our earth. And they monitor and see Don't trust anyone. Don't trust the police. They are already controlled by That's the way it has been for so many years. Only the best, best can endure. Can hold on. To hold on right. And yet, right at clean air moments. So, so welcome to our world. Very soon, the gates to a new dimension. 2048. 
Write that number down. Well, Tom, two zero four eight six three. Ring a bell? You were a member of the other church. So what do you reckon? Is this the other church? Tom, police talking to you. It was a long time ago. When were you gonna tell us, Tom? I was only an initiate before I left them. I didn't get to see a lot. But you saw something. Uh, the numbers were a form of communication between the higher ranks and the lower ranks. I never even got to see one of the higher ranking members. They used messengers. Where is the other church located? I'm not sure. How can you not be sure? Because we were blindfolded. Blindfolded? All initiates were. <sighs> All I remember is that there were many entrances to the other church. All over the city. You could check the basement. Okay. But you're coming with us. Tom, this is a little silly, but I guess it can't hurt checking. 